Welcome to my backlog, where I use a random number generator and my Steam controller to play through my backlog. So this is Space Pirates and Zombies. And so if I check in the configuration a bit. There we go. It's already made something. Or someone made something. Okay, well, it looks good enough, I suppose. Uh, definitely gonna want to change this. Okay. Uh, let's go to the tutorial, I guess. This is a weird one, I think. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna put Q and E here. You'll find out why. Okay, let's do the tutorial. Chapter 1, tutorial. So, as you can see, this game is rather ambitious. Uh, like this a little smaller. Casual, whatever. Bunch hunters. Check available. Generate again. Exit. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the intro. Space is a vast and desolate frontier, covering a seemingly infinite distance. Even the speed of light is dwarfed by the unimaginable scale of our galaxy. It took nearly 250 years to bridge the void between Earth and its closest neighboring star. Mankind had mastered the folding of space-time, but relied on the use of warp gates. Massive drone ships journeyed through deep space for centuries, deploying pairs of warp gates which allowed instantaneous travel between connections. Warp gate travel had not become commonplace until the discovery of a stable element, number 126. This element contained bizarre transmutable properties, allowing it to be reconfigured into different forms of matter. This made it the most valuable and sought-after commodity in the universe. Mankind quickly became completely dependent on element 126, which the first miners named Rez. Due to the increasing demand for Rez, the warp gate network became privatized. Anyone with ample funding was able to deploy new and unregistered warp gates. Like a new gold rush, convoys of miners traversed the expanding warp network looking for res deposits. This drove them closer and closer to the galactic core, where res deposits became richer and richer. The growing number of isolated colonies became unmanageable. As the unique ecologies of each discovered planet intermixed through trade, potential pandemics became a concern. The United Terran Alliance was formed to control interplanetary contamination. They moved to heavily restrict gate access. Military blockades began to screen all trade ships traveling between gates, attacking any unregistered ships that attempted to use them. For a time, the UTA was able to maintain control, but they soon crumbled under the weight of rapid expansionism and bureaucracy. When able to manage their fleets and borders, the military hierarchy collapsed. Without central leadership, the UTA fleets dissolved into a series of isolated subcells that rarely communicated or traveled beyond local space. Each military subcell now struggles to control their systems by whatever laws they see fit to implement. Despite the enforced isolation, rogues continue the gold rush while refugees amass hidden away from the UTA's eye. 
They survive within the vast junk fields of an abandoned Earth. There they build a massive flagship named the Clockwork. With it, they intend to travel to the galactic core in search of a legendary mother load of rares. And there it is. The Clockwork. Okay, folks, it's that time again. This will be our 7th engine test this week. I don't want to go to bed with radiation prints again tonight, alright? Let's get those puppies fired up good and proper this time. Yes, well, you see, we're lucky the toilet's even flush on this break. We've managed to bootstrap the induction coil to the main core to boost output, but I don't expect to maintain a viable reaction. Nuclear physics and duct tape do not mingle well, yes? Carl, I have no idea what jail you're talking about. Just turn the bloody thing on. And then it blows up. Just like that. Damn, the magnetic stabilizer is blue. We have major breaches in deck 6 through 10. Our rescue chips are gone. Our venting atmosphere. We have group casualties. That's enough of that. Well, room can be replaced. Blah, blah, blah. The whole thing just blew up. Blah, blah. That's one. Push space to build a ship. Go to the hangars. Empty hangar. And build. And while that's happening, which by the way I need to close first, I'm gonna put a gyro on. There we go. And I control the ship with these buttons. Yeah, I guess left shift is not stabilized. I do that, it's X, so I'm gonna put that there. There we go. No, fetch the part. Part is fetched. What am I doing again? So, there's enemies, there's me, there's our guys, there's that's one. Ship's log. Uh, Q. Alright, oh, we're changing these. Star map. Eh, it's gonna be in a space button anyway. Here it is. Engine failure. Return the part, fetch the part, build your first ship. Yep, yeah, in first order. Here you go. Well, let's just fix the stabilizer. Oh, you gotta be kidding. That's unfortunate. Easier. That's unfortunately easier said than done. Right. Uh, we're going to Earth. Or some... Where are we? I think it's actually Mars. Because for some reason we're on Earth. I don't know why. <laughs> like, that's where we decided to start again. Alright, well that's our warp beacon, and that's us. Blah blah blah, blah blah, I need to mind things. Okay, I'll take one of these, and one of these. Now I'm full, as you can see, right here. I got two resources, my cargo bay, which contains res, and goons. That's gonna be an inventory or a tutorial about that. Did you know that element 126 is an actual thing that exists? It hasn't actually been officially discovered yet, so it doesn't have a name. But it is three numbers higher than the most, than the latest known element in existence. Organism. I think it was. Okay, well, I've gunned it off rest, so I'm just gonna build shit now. 
house is a public service announcement. Mm-hmm. Yep. Feeding a ship and all that. Build. And I could change the hall if I want to. I'm okay with that for now. Well, the objective is to build two dart ships, but I like the tractor beam, so... It's not like I'm gonna be short on res throughout this game anyway. I guess I did might as well now. Change hole, darts, refits. I'm gonna be honest, I kinda want space to be over here. It just feels better. There we go. So you wanna pick my stones and run off, huh? Well, you go right in there, stay there, Missy. Right. So we're now we're gonna do some missions for these guys. And mostly combat missions against um, the UDA. A minor problem, except. Uh, bye. And now I'm going to. Saturn! Destroying crates. There are no UTA ships. That's good to know. At least not for now. The radar and so on. So. Uh, this is the command screen, and I can select ships and move them around like so. Now, I will always be commanding one of them myself, but I can swap at will. And I'll probably be doing that, I'll get more hangers, of course. Got enough data. Go start upgrading some of our ships. Mm-hmm. Yep. Let's find out. I used to research. So, level one reactor. Let's go. Good. Um, I can do it again, or can upgrade some beams, or some port launchers, some engines, and armor. I'm just gonna do this now. Die. Die, 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 move, immovable, defenseless. Immobile, defenseless target. The hell are you doing? Okay, and the last box. There we go, and now we got hostiles. It's pretty self-explanatory. This is me, this is them. As long as my numbers start high and big, I'm gonna be fine. As soon as their number reaches zero, they're dead. And their thing reached zero, so now they're dead. Oh look, goons. This is actually kind of an interesting tutorial. Once I get it, there we go. Hey man, please don't kill me man, I'm just following orders. I don't really even know why I'm here man. Well I'm not going to kill you yet, drones are expensive and the toilets are near scrubbing. That might have been a bit harsh. I do agree with you so much. Let's not forget that these goods might be valuable if to pawn them off as workers. Yeah, so basically we're uh, just using them as slaves and that stuff. And they become... You know... Involuntarily impaired workers. So...
Yeah. And there's the shield. Obsolete chips, do I know? And a tactics panel, you see. All right, here. Upgrade their ships, and there we go. We have better engines. And there he goes. Level up. Uh, yeah, we're gonna use something like that. Getting um, launchers and beams. So launchers are gonna be really useful later on. Um, I don't have them yet. But they will be there eventually. So I can focus on beams instead for now, or I can just hold out. There it goes. Okay, well, this is going to take a hot minute. It's not exactly the most exciting part of the tutorial. Come back here, coward. I gotta research some some the engines. I need to go faster. faster. Excellent. Y'all kicked them UDA assholes. Sure did. Mission complete. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Uranus. Okay, this is where we start learning about different ship types and how we get them. I think. Yeah. Also, this guy has missiles. So. You can't really escape them. You might be able to blow them up, but. Uh, that's even the point of it. Okay, black boxes. They're the thing that you can use to make new ships. Can I make them now? I sure can. It might be a smart idea to uh, keep a bit of uh, you know balance in, in tow, but nah, I'm just gonna go ahead and make them all this. No, I wait 
wait for the ship to be built. And here they are. Okay. This is fun. I don't even have the aim. It's not exactly efficient, is it? Scouts. No, my shield. See, this one requires two blueprints. Ooh. Hatchets. Level up. Thank fuck for that. Alright. Let's do launchers. Just die! There we go. Yeah, we kill them all. Get the black box. There we go. Get some stuff. I can make a hatchet. I think I want to change. Oh, not that one. Not that one. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh, I need a bigger net zone. There we go. 
No, let's move to Earth, is it? Nah, that's not Earth. Neptune. Suicide is never the answer. I mean, you'd be surprised how often it is. You just gotta make sure you have enough rest to make sure that you can build enough ships to supply. Man, these darts are being eaten alive. Alright, who's next? I guess, uh, the scout. Or the dart. Salt ship inbound. It's uh, the boomerang. Let's go fuck him up. He's already dead. Wow. It's actually kind of a good ship, but it's a bigger one, so it needs a bigger hangar. I don't have one of those yet, so. Eh. I'll get to that. I guess. The boomerang is now available. Hmm, no. But what I can do pick this ship and repair. So apparently it's in dire need. <laughs> oh. Health increase, hull damage multiplier. That sounds Okay. Cargo space and crew capacity. And here's armor. Boost of health. Shields, probably recharge and stuff. That was nice. Uh it's not much. Let's focus on launchers. Excellent. Alright, next mission. Cheers. There we go. We're going home to Earth. The miners had made good on their promise. As the following weeks came and went, the clockwork slowly took shape. Many miners had joined the Clockworks crew in hopes of one day finding their fortune beyond the warp gate. Don and his crew had begun to make a name for themselves, a name that would eventually spread throughout the stars and become legend. The time had finally come to leave Earth behind and embark on the long journey to the core. I have to admit my surprise that Elsa's friends were able to patch up this Clockwork in decent time. You should have more faith in his people. 
You two need to stay focused. Well, it looks like these people are bears with us to go watch larger festivals. And this is where I got my large hangar. Maybe you should read this. Mm hmm. System map. Yep. Ship's log. Updated. Hangars. Let's build a bigger ship. I have two. I have this slow ass bitch that has like mining lasers and cannons. But, like, who cares, right? Boomerang. It's nice and fast. Let's give them lasers. Built. I'm gonna want an elder rebuild for the next one. Okay, let's check out the map. I have a bunch of options now. Here's one. The Venus, UTA Patrol. Mercury, Bodyguard. Next price in seven days. Saturn, Trash Heap. A large amount of trash has accumulated in this area. Pluto, Civilian Patrol. Mm hmm. Let's not do that. Neptune, nothing. There's nothing here. And of course, Jupiter, mining station, where I can get a bunch of money. Uh, let's do, uh, let's do Mercury. Phew. What level am I, by the way? Okay, let's not do that then. Okay, here's the guy. Huh, I don't know what that was. But let's find out what's going on. Oh, there we go. Uh, go ahead and attack that. The fuck is going on? Is that mines or something? I guess the motherfucker's just using cannons. Oh, wow. Attack! And you! Get yourself fixed up, man. I'm choosing to beat this ship now. Let's just give this one an order. There, that'll well, be this one instead. Oh, he's dead. Well, that's helpful. Go. Where's that button? Is that? Oh, the previous target. Wow, I got fucked up real fast, huh? Cycle, repair, toggle events, tactics. You know what? Why not? Dump all cargo. There is some armor plates. Self destruct. So these are where all the hotkey buttons are supposed to be at. But like. Eh. You can use them in the tactics. Firewell. No, I'm good. Yo! 
I'm sorry. Yeah, it sure did. <clears throat> I guess, uh, I guess the torpedo is not a good place to be in front of. Totally gonna win this one, motherfucker. What? Fuck on. Oh, at least I got some nice stuff. Man, it was so close too. Well, no point in laying all this to go to waste. That's not right. Fortunately, I'm rich, so. Right, well, we're done here, so let's go. I am level 5, so I can go for the gate. But, we can also do trash heap. Still a few things left to go. Uh, Jonas. Bodyguard. Yeah, that didn't go so well. Let's just go ahead and go to the next place. See what that's like. Alright, here's the first way to get. We need to cross. Your J ships are loaded with down a warp inhibitor, so we'll need to wipe out every last one of them. That sounds like a job for, uh, I don't know, us, I guess. That's, um,. Let's get some more money. Go to Pluto for the money. The ambient events will pop up from time to time. There's no particular objective to any event. Ambient events do tend to have some valuable resources that we would exploit. One of these. Yo. Well, that's gone. That's not how big Sun is from Pluto. Yeah, I'm not going to catch up on that.
There we go. Okay, let's see what we got. A medium single mount turret. Nice. A laser. A tractor beam. Two of them, no less. And a missile. Also two. I'll take it. Turtle head. I like this. It's not fast, but it is good. Okay, um, put subsistence. Right, and crew. Data theft, huh? Dirt's armor hull. Beacon Basher. You know what? I'm gonna do that some other time. Um, alright, oh I need to be on Earth to do that. Alright, let's save the game. One. One is a fine name. <laughs> 